morning and nearly 18 million blood transfusions happen each year throughout the United States. San Diego Blood Bank recently launched an initiative that can greatly improve the standard of care for blood infusion patients. And here to share more from the San Diego Blood Bank, we have Chief Medical Officer Dr. Mark Edmonds and Chief Business Officer Nikhil Nayek. Thank you both for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Thanks for having us. I want to start off just by discussing that disparity between um, what you guys have learned in the process of, of looking through this blood, what's the program like? So I, do you want to start off telling us about yeah. the program and the progress you've made so far? Yeah, absolutely. So the Precision Blood Program is a way to better match the donor and the recipient using next generation or genetic sequencing of the red blood cell. So what we're able to do is get, find the best match for each and every transfusion patient and that's very important for chronically transfused patients or children because they get so many, pa uh, so many transfusions over time that it's important that every single time they have the best match blood. Why did it take until 2022 for like this, pro in my head I would have thought that this would have always been happening, but you guys are kind of paving the way for it to start. So how did it take until now? Yeah, I think, you know, number one is the big, changes that have been made you know you know the the typical blood types right. your abo and your rh when it's positive or negative but outside of that the whole genomic sequencing event has come and moved forward so much that now putting it to the red blood cell types is is very very important this whole concept of like individualized personalized precision medicine has helped bring this forward and since a you know innovative blood center like ourselves at right. san diego blood bank we're able to actually apply that technology. And, and the progress we've made really has come from a grant we received last year from the Conrad Prebis Foundation okay. and the David C. Copley Foundation to provide us enough money to run a proof of concept where we showed that our technology and the technique that we use actually works and we were able to type roughly 30,000 of our donors. And as a result of that, we were able to now better match the blood for those transfusion patients. So does that mean that people of diff different ethnic backgrounds, for example, might be able to be better matched in the transfusion process? process? And like, how does that come back to our blood specifically? How does that work? That's exactly right. Well, it turns out that your red blood cell type or your blood type is genetically determined. It's a, it's a hereditary trait. Uh, much like many other inheritable traits. Uh, so you receive the uh, antigens that are expressed on your red blood cells, in other words, the carbohydrates and the proteins that are found on those blood cells, you inherit those characteristics from your parents. So in order to better match blood, ideally, you will have blood donors that are as close as possible with respect to race and ethnicity as the transfusion recipient. It's a really cool idea and you think like this could change millions of people's lives like you mentioned. Uh, tell us of course one way people can help mm -hmm. is to donate right? Absolutely. Um, donate both blood and money I believe right? What's the process like? Yeah so what we're trying to do now is really get even more funding to be able to yeah. expand this. You know right now 30,000 donors great but what we'd like to do is make this more broadly across the entire right. United States. We're a small regional blood center, but if we have enough funding to be able to do the clinical studies to demonstrate working with hospital partners and other you know, biotech and other industries, right. we'll be able to expand this initiative to show the benefits that having precision blood provides over the standard of care. It's amazing work that you are both doing, and we're honored that it's taking place here in San Diego. Thanks to you. Thank you both for being with us this morning. Uh, we have a quick break in store, but we'll be right back after this. More info online there of uh, how to get involved. We'll be back after this. Stay with us.